boom what is up ladies and gentlemen out here at the park beautiful day don't know if i have to have the mask on or not the whole time but i see most people with their mask on so uh, i'm gonna keep mine on to protect everybody um i'm doing this video real quick here because i actually didn't feel like coming out here and going for my walk so it's about a two mile walk to get here maybe a little bit more maybe a little less about a two mile walk or so um, to get here and I wanted to just bring up a point to you that I honestly didn't feel like going on this walk today so this is Wednesday I worked out Monday and Tuesday so I didn't feel like going on this walk all right so the whole point of this particular video and what I want you to take out of this is how do you continue to push towards a goal if you don't feel like it how do you keep pushing forward if you don't feel like it and i think i have the the secret to that or i have the factor um, i have what you need to push forward and it's a real simple concept it's something i use all the time so this morning i woke up you know had the oatmeal did the stretching and like i said i didn't really feel like getting my cardio in and getting that walk in and here i am two miles into the walk how did i do that how do you do something if you don't feel like doing it? And what I focus on is simply, it's a simple concept. You have to focus on the result. You have to focus on the result. And if you hear speakers in the past, like Martin Luther King have said, keep your eyes on the prize. Um, you, you focus on the result. I have a result I'm trying to get to. I wanna drop a few pounds. I wanna get a little bit leaner even. Um, I want better circulation. Um, I want to keep diabetes away because it runs in my family. I want to keep my blood pressure in check. You know, all those things. And those are the results of what I want. And to get those things, cardiovascular has to be part of my program. Cardio has to be part of my program if I want to get those things. And the only way to do cardio is to get moving. So that's the simple concept is a lot of people lose track of their results because they're so caught up in what the process is they're so caught up in the process and I don't even want to call the word excuses but they're caught up in the process and they'll use the process and they'll come up with a lot of reasons why they shouldn't move towards their goals so if you ever find yourself waking up in the morning and you know you need to get a walk-in or you know that you shouldn't eat that fast food from the drive through window you know you should be drinking more water. You know you should be prepping your meals. The easiest way to get that habit started is by focusing on the result of what you want. And you can do that easy. You could take a picture of your goal. Okay, so it could be your ideal body. Um, you can use this for anything, making money, whatever it is you wanna do. And maybe put a picture of that on your refrigerator. So every time you go in that refrigerator, you see that picture of that ideal body that you want sitting there. So when you take the food out of there, maybe you're not gonna grab the, uh, uh, the, 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 the pie that's in there or the cake. Hopefully none of that's in there. Um, but you get my point. Um, have these pictures all around, put them in, implant, implant them in your head. So they're always there for you to, for you to draw off of. Um, save it as a screenshot on your phone or the wallpaper rather on your phone. Put a picture of that ideal body that you want. Uh, put a picture of that house that you want. So when you're making decisions, you can focus on that result. So to take this out of fitness just for a moment, if you were saving for a reason, if you're saving money for a reason, and you're always saying, well, I don't, I don't have any money to save. Well, every time you buy something, ask yourself, do I really need this? And then go back to your, your result that you want. And then maybe that Frappuccino from Starbucks, it's $6 or whatever they cost. I never ordered one, but whatever they cost, maybe you can find a way to not buy that. Maybe you can buy a, 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 a dollar bottle of water instead, or better yet, pack a bottle of water to bring with you. Maybe that's something you can do. So that's a real simple method. So, so again, just a quick message today. I just wanted to share that with you is focus on your result focus on the result that's the simple way to get to it a lot of these motivational speakers a lot of these uh, influencers will take you through the rabbit hole of all this complicated stuff 
when it comes to accomplishing goals. And it's actually really simple. Identify the result that you want and map out how you're gonna get there. And usually when you have a result and you have your starting point, there are steps you need to take to get there. You know, so for example, if you're trying to lose a little bit of weight, what are three things you need to do? So maybe if it's cleaning up your diet, uh, exercising daily, meditating, whatever it is for you, you need to focus on that result. Meditate on that result. So that way you make the right choices. Because I could be sitting on the couch right now because that actually, to be honest with you, um, sounded much better. And even partway through my walk, I said to myself, man, it's hot out here. Be cool to just be sitting down right now in the AC, air conditioned apartment and, and uh, reading a book or, or just vegging out, scrolling through the phone, messing around online. But here I am, I got the cardio in and then I got to walk back. So I got to do my two mile walk back there to get the cardio in. So, um, but I want to round this off by telling you that I got to this goal today of getting the cardio in not by focusing on the walk itself, but by focusing on the result that I want. And cardio is a part of me getting the results I want. I want to lose a few pounds. I want to get a little bit more cuts in there. And I want to build a little bit more muscle. And you need cardio for that. And sitting on the couch um, is not on anybody's program for how to get in good health. You know, you're not going to get anything if you don't move. So focus on your result. Keep the result at the paramount, at the forefront of your mind, and stick with that. Remember, put a picture on your refrigerator, uh, put a wallpaper on your phone. It could be an old picture of yourself. Maybe you wanna get back to that. Uh, but it doesn't have to just be your physical body, it could be your mental. It could be uh, uh, money, relationships, family stuff, whatever it is, what's the result? And what actions are you taking to get to that result? Hope this has been informative, have a nice day. Boom. Man, this ain't Taylor Swift, Ooh. but I rock the weights like a guitar riff. Ooh. Hold the barbell with a tight grip, Ooh. so when I pump the weights, they don't slip. I'm moving heavy metal like Judas Priest, so I'm getting Ooh. swole, to say the least.